A simple trick that I often recommend for designing maps is to use similar colors for similar things and different colors for different things. Hi, I'm Heather and I'm a cartographer. In my last video, I shared an example of making color choices for maps in ArcGIS Pro based on similarities and differences. In this video, I'll share another example, this time in ArcGIS Online. I encourage you to watch both videos regardless of what software you use. In this layer, there are eight symbol classes with randomly assigned colors. How can I reassign colors in a way that makes this map easier to read? Well, when I look at these symbol classes, I see them forming two general groups, one associated with paths and the other with streets. I'm going to choose somewhat similar colors for these things and a different set of colors for these. I'll start with the path or trail symbol because they are usually depicted in green to suggest parks and nature, so it's an easy place to start. What about unofficial paths? They should be green too, right? They're almost the same thing, so I will make them almost the same color. But at the same time, I still need to be able to tell them apart, so I'll make them a lighter green. This makes them less prominent and helps to convey that they're less official. Next, I'll do the multi-use paths. These should probably also be green, but they're more important. They're like the arteries of the path system, great for people commuting on bikes. I'll make them a really dark green so they stand out more. Now I have three greens going from dark to light for most to least prominent. You may have noticed to make this green darker, I moved it closer to blue. And to make this green lighter, I moved it closer to yellow. So I'm making adjustments to both the value, light versus dark, and the hue, yellow, green, blue, to create these colors that are different enough to tell apart, but also clearly similar. On to the sidewalks. Now, in some maps, sidewalks and paths would be considered very similar things. You walk on both of them. But in this map, I think they qualify as opposites. So remember that context really matters when it comes to deciding what is similar and what is different. In this context, I want to convey that these lines are very different from these lines. So I want to use a very different color. Red is the complementary color to green, but I won't use red because red-green color blindness is very common. Pink is a nice accessible alternative. Okay, what about no sidewalks? These two things are clearly related. I'll start by making them the same color, but then I'll make the pink very pale to indicate that the sidewalk is not actually there. Crosswalks are similar and related to sidewalks. So for them, I chose a similar color, went with purple. Purple and pink are close to each other on the color wheel. And I'll use the same trick for unmarked crosswalks that I use for no sidewalks and for unofficial paths. I'll just make it a paler version of that purple. Finally, bridges or stairs, I think I'll leave them as orange. There's only a few of these and they're fairly short segments, so it's important for them to stand out from the rest of the symbols. If I now compare my symbol colors to a color wheel, I can see that my trails and paths all fall in this area, while my sidewalks and crosswalks all fall in here. This helps to communicate that these things are similar and related, and that these things are similar and related, but these two groups of things are different. Your audience doesn't need to know color theory to get this. They're going to pick up on it subconsciously. Just glancing at this map, don't you get the impression that all of these pink things are related while these green things are in a different class? It may be more obvious if we compare the new map to the old map. Choosing so many colors is not easy, but if you keep in mind which symbols should be similar and which should be different, it will make it a little easier. Finally, I'd like to encourage you if you're trying this in your own map and you're struggling with picking out these colors, that's normal. These were not the first colors I chose. I had to experiment a lot before I settled on them. You should be trying lots of colors before you find the right ones. Not only is that normal, that's good cartography.